Fainty friends, Gretchen Fleener here from Page Entertainment. Today I'm going to walk you through one of my most popular silly snake designs. I'm going to start out with a light green and I'm loading it up on my number four brown low Cornell brush. And we're just going to paint the top and bottom of the snake's nose, right above Toby's nose. Extend those sides of his mouth up. And then we're going to just add his little cheeks on either side. And then just go ahead and fill that space in. just a little bit of the snake's neck so I'm going to add just two little short lines and now we're going to switch over to some white. Two large ovals here just to kind of outline his eyes. And then I like to just paint around where the iris of pupil will be so that I'm not wasting paint by painting over the white. It also helps keep the colors nice and crisp and clear. So just fill in parts that need to be white. And then don't forget his little teeth. Next I'm going to load up my brush with a darker green. And I'm going to start by just going around the eyes why you don't really need to worry about the eyes being perfect to begin with because you can always overlap and clean up those edges in this step. Add a little more thickness to the top of the eyes for his eyebrows and then I'm going to extend that down to his cheeks. And then we'll just kind of fill in that space. Outline it and then Fill it all in. And we'll pull a little bit of that dark green down on his neck as well. Just on the outside edge of the lighter green. Now this next step is completely optional. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra dimension to his nose here by adding a little outline of darker green and then I'm going in with my brush, just a little wet paint on it right here, and I'm dragging it and blending it just to add a little bit of shadow around his face. Now we're going to pick up our iris color. I'm going to use brown, you can do blue eyes, green eyes, whatever, whatever color you like. for a little bit of red. I'm going to add his tongue in the space that I left here in the beginning, coming right down the center of Toby's nose. Now I'm going to add a little scale texture to the background. I'm going to use purple and my favorite uh, painter team and stencil brush, which works great for getting in all the little details. When you load it up, you want to make sure it's as dry as possible to avoid that seepage underneath your stencil. Hold the stencil close to the skin and just kind of swirl around with your brush, making sure to, of course, not overlap the snake himself, but just kind of fill in some texture as a background. Now this step is completely optional as well. I mean, you could just have the snake himself. Uh, you could change it to any other kind of pattern. When I have a design like this, I like to add just some kind of texture. It really makes the design pop more. It makes it look larger on the face. And it's fun to put in a texture that relates to the design, like scales here. So now I'm going to go to my black and do some outlining, starting with my little pupils. And I'm just going to work my way around the design, outlining everything and making sure to add in his little nostrils and smile along the way. favorite 
final step is always adding that little bit of white highlights to really make everything pop. I'm using Wolf White here and a number two round low Cornell brush. And even on boys, I like to add a little glitter to his tongue. It makes it look really nice and wet. Great job, Toby. Thanks for letting me paint you today. High five.